everyone, I'm photographer and filmmaker TK North. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the different panels inside Premiere Pro, the most important ones and what you need to know to get started working with them. So let's jump in and get started. Opening up Premiere Pro for the first time, it can definitely feel like there's a lot going on. But having these different windows or panels and the customization it allows is one of the most useful things to get familiar with. With Premiere Pro open, you'll notice these different windows, each with a different specific purpose. These are called panels. You can find the name of each panel in the top left corner of each of them. You have different options for the layout of these panels depending on your preference and also which stage of editing you're at. These are called workspaces. And later on, once you're more familiar with the different panels, you can even customize your own to suit your own editing workflow. To start with, I'm going to select the editing workspace. This workspace will clearly show the four panels I'm going to walk through, project panel, source and program monitor panels, and also the timeline panel. When editing or building your video sequence, these four are the most important panels to be viewing. If at any stage you can't see a particular panel you require, you can come up to window and make sure that panel is ticked or selected on this list. You can also change your workspace by coming up to window and workspaces. To increase or decrease the size of any of your panels, you can simply come to the edge of the panel and drag it out smaller or larger. You can even move this around to different parts of the screen, depending on where you want to view each panel. The first panel you want to get familiar with is the project panel. This is where you can import, locate, organize, and preview all your clips and media. Once you've imported your clips, there's a few different ways you can view them within the project panel. If you come down to the bottom of this panel, you can select list view, icon view, or freeform view. List view will be most useful when you require more info on your clips. Here you can easily see things like the frame rate and the resolution of each of your clips and use the headings to organize them based on this info. Simply by clicking on these headings, it will arrange them by that heading. The icon view will give you a much better visual of your clips as it displays the thumbnails. Here you can also easily scrub through them by hovering over your clips. This feature is called hover scrub or by single clicking on any of your clips, you will see displayed this playhead, which you can also scroll through to preview your clips. The next important panels are the source and program monitor panels. Now the source monitor and program monitor are the panels you use to watch your clips. On the top left, you'll use the source monitor to preview your clips before inserting them into a sequence. To the right is your program monitor. This is where you will play and preview your working timeline sequence. So let's start with the source monitor for previewing all your clips. So make sure you have this selected to play and pause playback. You can use these playback controls or you can simply use the shortcut spacebar. You can also quickly drag or scrub through a clip by grabbing this blue playhead and scrolling back and forth to preview your clip. If you double click on any clip down in the project panel, it will automatically open this into the source monitor ready for preview. Here you can also mark in or mark out your clips. And this is essentially where you want each clip to begin and end. Use the mark in and mark out buttons to select a specific part of the clip you want to add to the sequence. A simple shortcut for this is I to cut in or O to cut out. Once you cut your clip, you can drag it over to the timeline and it will play back from those mark in and mark out points that you've selected. Over to the right is the program monitor. Here it will play your sequence from the timeline. The program monitor playhead is synchronized with the playhead in the timeline panel. As you can see, if I scrub across, you will see the timeline moves with the program monitor. This is where you can preview your project video as it takes shape. Here, if you've got your timeline selected, you can also use the space bar to play and pause the sequence. Next up is the timeline panel. This is where your project comes to life. Here you will build your sequence, arrange clips and make simple audio adjustments. I've added a few video clips and one music track to my timeline here. You can see it plays back from left to right and wherever this blue playhead is, this will play back above in the program monitor as well. Your video and audio tracks will be separated with the video tracks above and audio below and you can move these up or down to create separate tracks. With video clips in a stack like this, whichever clip is above or on top will show in front of any clips below it. Think of these like layers. You can also increase the size of any of your tracks on the timeline. This will give you a closer look at any effects, audio levels, and also show a thumbnail of any of your video clips. 
You can turn off the preview of any of these tracks by clicking on this eyeball icon over to the left. In the same way, you can mute an audio track by hitting the M icon on any of your audio tracks. To work and edit individual clips, make sure you have the right clip selected. There are also different tools for working with your timeline. The most basic is the selection tool. Chances are if something you're unsure about is happening, you've probably accidentally gone off the selector tool. You can simply come back to this at any time by hitting the shortcut V to come back to your selection tool. So that was a basic rundown of some of the most important panels inside Premiere Pro. Later in this series, I'll be diving into some of those panels a little bit more, so stay tuned for that. For now, I'm TK North. Thanks so much for watching.